All right, Sketchpad Podcast, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Make sure you hit the notification bell, too, while you at it. Yeah, so today we're talking about the lawlessness in cities and what we think. Started out with L.A. Let's get into it, man. Starting at midnight tonight, the sheriff's department will no longer detain people for crimes such as theft, shoplifting, drug use, vandalism, battery, and a whole host of other non-serious, non-violent crimes that affect the quality of life of people here in Los Angeles County. L.A. Deputy D.A. John McKinney explains that due to Judge Lawrence Riff's ruling, many people arrested will be released immediately without having to pay bail before their arraignment. Judge Riff made the point of saying that he implored California officials like the sheriff, the chief of police, the district attorney, the city attorney, he implored them to testify to explain why he shouldn't issue this order. And he was surprised when no one stood up to challenge it. No one challenged it. Not LAPD Chief Michael Moore, LA County Sheriff Robert Luna, or District Attorney George Gascon. Going to hell in the hand basket. Man, man, yo. Ooh, boy, we go to hell in the hand, basket. Man. Hey, man, listen, I'm going to explain something to y'all, man. If y'all don't understand what's going on and how we are being played and manipulated, y'all lost. This right here is a perfect example of the reason why they should not have these, uh, how would I say, these race baiting things that go on in this country. The police department, the sheriff department, the, the, the uh, who was that? The prosecutors, they're afraid to do anything because they're afraid that they're gonna be called a racist or they're afraid that they're gonna be called some type of names. What I don't understand is what is the benefit of this? Because they act as if people don't take advantage of stuff like this. See, before, we didn't know about laws before because we didn't have the internet or the internet wasn't so prevy in our lives. So we didn't know about things. This was promoted on Instagram on 50 cents page. He has 50 cent has 29 million people on his Instagram, 29 million. So if he has 29 million people on his Instagram, Let's just say 5,000 of them seen it that lives in L.A. Mm -hmm. So what did that 5,000, 200 of them tell their friends. Mm -hmm. And in them 200 tell their friends. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get locked up if we get locked up. Oh, you know, they ain't going to hold you, bro. They ain't going to do nothing to you. Just go ahead and steal it. This, when people say stuff like this, this doesn't, they say, well, this is not a violent crime, but it leads to that. It leads mm -hmm. to that. So what, so what do you, so what do you do in a situation like this? When you telling people, you basically telling people, well, you can do whatever you want. We don't care. As long as you ain't doing nothing violent. How does that make sense? <laughs> Yo, this is uh. This is a prime example of the purge coming to life. Yes. A, li a live and a living color version of the purge is coming. That's just what this is right here. Because as soon as this guy started saying what he was saying, I was that's the first thing that popped in my head is that this is the purge. 
is the perch. And if you people think it's not going to come to this area, you got another thing coming because it will eventually. We don't know if they'll come in our lifetime, but it'll come sooner or later because the way the way things is moving right now in the world today, period, everything is on, on some bizarro land type stuff. You know what I mean? From the workplace to outside in the community to social media to whatever. Everything's like bizarro land. It's simply like the twilight zone right now. What's right is wrong. What's wrong is right. So if y'all think something like that can't happen here in Jersey, y'all got another thing coming. It definitely can happen down here. Because if it can happen in Los Angeles, which Los Angeles, let's be for real, Los Angeles crime rate is crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. They we talking about places that got Latin Kings, got uh, uh what, what what they call them MS MS whatever like them, yeah. them gangs. Like we talking about place that got all types of craziness. You know what I'm saying? We don't even got half of that over here. So if they doing that over there, just imagine how it could trickle over here. And I'm not wishing for it to happen over here. I'm just saying, like, you guys got to wake up, man. You guys got to wake up for sure. I'm one of those type of people that uh, I want people to learn their lesson. So I'm wishing for it to happen. <laughs> I am. I'm wishing for it to happen because I want people to learn. I want people to understand that we we be being played, man. And it's like you. you I, I I never I never thought that we'll come to us a, a, a come to a, a um a part of, of this history where they basically telling people they basically could do what they want and they don't care. And it's like they think that they're the thing is, and I hate to say this, but it's the truth. Progressives and and radical liberals believe that there are good people, and I don't think that they I don't think they believe. I'm sorry, I don't think they believe they're good people. I think that they pretend to believe that they're good people, but most of these people never been to the hood. So the way they looking, they looking at it from a lens of oppression. So all oh, these people only doing it because they need want food for their kids. Like that's not why they're doing it. They're doing it because they like to do it. Most of these people got money. Or they're surviving. You know what I'm saying? But again, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole with that. I just think it's a bad idea. And they're going to see. So, hey, man. Sketch Pat, you know what it is, man. Stop the lawlessness, man. Outlaws in L.A.